I, I. Here, what's going on? What's going on? It's the body god with this perfectly supreme gleam. Know what I mean, going to get a little sound fact right there, you know, to emphasize the, the shininess of it all, you know. Top two bodies in the knot number two, the smoothest body on both sides of the Mason Dixon line. That's right. Body so smooth, they can't believe it's not butter. Taryn Morgan, what's going on with y'all? So, just real quick, I just want to, um, Real Quick Talk is a new content series I'm working on right now. I've been kind of MIA, uh, working on some stuff behind the scenes, uh, definitely trying to get some funding going so I can go ahead and pay for some people because, you know, I got the podcast, the videos, all this stuff, but, you know, this is a little, little taste. So, whatever's on my thought, I put this out here. So, today, the topic is God Ancestors Me. So, I'm not a religious person at all. Um, I'm more so spiritual, was raised in the church, all that good stuff. But, you know, uh, the past three years, since like 2018, I've been going through some stuff, you know, life occurs, we got different seasons, you know, it was winter and it got real, real. So dealing with depression and um, suicidal ideation, all that good stuff. But, you know, I got through it. But the main thing was that I had to get through it on my own, but I had God, ancestors and myself to do the work, right? So when y'all see the t-shirt, you know, I'm advertising. Um, it's not a shirt. It is my testimony, right? When I was walking through the valley of the shadow of death, like literally my ancestors was right there. And I came out of that joint untouched, unscarred, all that good stuff. So, you know, it's just paying homage. And it's really to show people that you don't need anybody else here on this earth to help you get through whatever you're going through. You know, we all got it within ourselves. But this moment really taught me to rely on myself and to tap into my powers because you know i come from a community a family whatever where we talk about work we work hard we, we bust our ass like we really are hard workers but when it comes to moving strategically to elevate to get through the stuff that we've been through in the past that's something that we kind of uh we're not as skilled and advanced in that level so you know with me just being exposed to different things teaching out seeking out different uh, resources, people to help me out with, you know, that that really got me through that point to really elevate. And right now I'm using my journey to help other people within my family, and other people just in general, to really break that conditioning because we all really are taught certain things in our childhood and it holds us back if we don't shed it and realize that it has no use, use in our life. You know, um, a lot of people develop ways of living different outviews on the world based upon what has happened to them in the past. So, you know, that's something I'm trying to push through. So it's really show people that they can do it. And for me, when I was at my lowest point, my most vulnerable reaching out to people um, and I don't do stuff to, to for people in exchange for favors, whatever. But when I needed help, all I got was crickets. And these people that, you know, I let live with me, I gave free services or cheap services, et cetera. But, you know, that's when I didn't know my worth. I didn't know my boundaries, all that stuff. But through this journey, you know, God ancestors, you know, they taught me, you know, it's within myself to get through it. My fault, I'll be sweating too. Uh, Y'all be knowing me, you know, I'll be sweating like crazy. So luckily I got the white shirt on so you can't see the sweat pits and all that good stuff, but it's all good though. But anyway, you know, um, this really taught me to tap into my powers. Um, I remember my grandmother, she told me like, I, I was big on video games back in the day. She like, get that thing off my TV. Now video games are a billion dollar industry and I'm building a top of the line program at a HBCU that got a donation from Verizon for almost a quarter of a million dollars. So like, it's one of those things of just realizing the things that I was told won't make you money, um, that you don't need to do that, or you need to grow up, et cetera. Those things actually are allowing me to elevate and to elevate my family lineage and to help other people out too, you know? So these are my gifts, you know, the whole video editing, um, becoming more confident within my voice, just speaking more, because in the past I was quiet. I was always just to myself, all that good stuff. But, you know, this period pulled that out within me and showed that in order to advance, you have to use your gifts that are within you and it allows you to elevate. And that's really true, you know, and it really takes faith. And then when you're putting that faith in, you also have to put that work in. So that's really what I've been doing, you know. Um, and for me, this period of my life has been a big ego check because, you know, when you, when you did a lot of stuff in the past, you think that those achievements can push you along for the rest of your life. Nah, nah, that's not the case at all. Like I, I've been on Summer Jam stage filming Jay-Z, 50,000 people, 
Um, I've had scholarships. I've traveled the world. Um, I've won many awards. But at the end of the day, that, that don't mean nothing. You know, you got to find happiness within yourself. Uh, you have to be able to navigate within yourself. Uh, these degrees don't matter. School don't really matter. It's all about how you navigate life and getting through all the BS that you've been taught, conditioning, program, the systematic crap, all that good stuff. You know, it's really doing what comes easy to you. It comes easy to you for a reason, you know, and that's something that we need to tap into because oftentimes we get pulled into, oh, you need to be doing this, doing that, listen to other people's opinions. When we have what we, it takes within ourselves, we just have to trust ourselves to grow that confidence. And that's something that I didn't have all these years, really just growing confidence and my abilities. And, you know, other people saw it, but I never saw it within myself. So, you know, that's one thing, you know, I, that changed. And now, you know, I'm elevating and I'm putting other people in position too, to really get there. So, you know, that is what this shirt is about. It's what God Ancestors Me is all about. It's about resilience and falling on your behind, but getting back up every, each and every single time and knowing that if nobody else in this world got your back, family, friends, et cetera, but God, ancestors, and me, that's all you need to really advance and push forward, right? So, you know, make sure you do get your merch. This shirt is a part of it. We got the black, we got the white. We probably put out some um, crop tops. We're going to see how it's looking out here. But most importantly, um, funds from any shirt's purchase goes towards uh, creating educational resources and also to outsource and to pay for black creators to help me out with putting out this different content. Um, I got a lot of stuff coming out soon. Um, I do have the funding now, so it's more so just every little bit helps. And we have some big stuff coming up. We got some stuff for the kids. We got some stuff for women specifically. So like we definitely doing a big, so please go to the merch shop, the Real Talk Session Series merch shop, www.realtalksessionseries.org you know, and shout out to the homie Jen out here modeling. This is a shirt. You can get yours too. As you see, it comes in black and it also comes in men's cut fits, uh, unisex and also women's cut. So, you know, go ahead, get that, get that. Um, also the podcast, I took a big hiatus, uh, working on some other stuff, but like I said, we back, we focused, uh, we got the, the means to bring on other people to help blow things up. So, you know, we got that. Uh, shout out, cuz. What's going on, cousin Jazz? What up? What up? What's good, Ashley? Um, but yeah, Miss Education the People podcast. We got some stuff to talk about, definitely. Um, switching up a little bit, adding video to that also. So, you know, make sure you catch up if you haven't um, listened to the podcast yet. It's on Apple and um, Spotify. So go ahead and check that out, definitely. Also, join the VIP community via the link in the bio. Um, you'll get some email updates with discounts new videos, some events. We're doing video, uh, events prior to COVID, but it got shut down, but we starting to come back outside now. So we're going to go ahead and get that going again. And got some other surprises too. So uh, you don't got to worry about me spamming you. Only going to hit you with something important in it, definitely. Um, also, uh, outside of Real Talk Session Series, I have created a creative solutions business. Like I said, for years, you know, the, the big dude sweat rag, you know, when you're over 200 pounds, they give you the uh, sweat rag automatically. But anyway, um, yeah. I'm sick of myself all these years when it came to the creative. Um, so I'm putting myself out there, officially have a business set up, temcreativesolutions.com. Uh, everything dropping soon. But if you want live broadcasts like this, videography, branding services, marketing plans, whatever you need, I got you. And also got a drone now, so we out here moving. Um, and make sure you share this video. This is the first, uh, first video um, within the Real Quick Talk series that we put out here. Make sure you like, leave a comment, and share so people can get the tools that they need to get through anything that they may be facing. Um, this is the way, you know, get the algorithms working. It really is something when it comes to Instagram, Facebook, and whatnot. So please make sure you do share. It is greatly appreciated. And lastly, please, please, please follow my um, eSports team, my program that I'm building at Morgan State University. Um, I have five $20,000 scholarships that I will be awarding to women who are in STEM and who are gamers. So information will be coming soon. Please, please, please make sure you follow us. MSU Bears Esports. That's the name right there. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in the comments of this video though, so you'll be able to see it though, definitely. But I definitely appreciate y'all. Thank you for tuning in to the very first quick, real quick talk. Uh, we're gonna try to do this on a, a weekly basis, you know, something real quick, real simple, nothing crazy. And also y'all can ask questions too. 
Um, I'm always down for that. I want to make this more interactive and you'll see this evolve into something even more. This is just like the little trial one, this little guinea pig segment right here. So, you know, we, we out here making a difference, making an impact and making moves. So, you know, thank you for tuning in. Real Talk Session Series, the revolution will be digitized. Make sure you follow us and we will talk to y'all soon.